Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info, and today we will attempt to find out if a solar panel, this cheap and this small, can actually charge something up fast enough to be useful. The panel we will be testing is the Solar Power 10 from Big Blue, which you can pick up off of Big Blue's website right now for under 40 bucks. The 10 in the product name stands for the 10 watts of rated power this panel is supposed to be capable of delivering to your devices. But we have tested enough solar panels on this channel to know that achieving maximum solar output on a set of panels can be nearly impossible even in the most perfect conditions. This particular panel only measures 436 by 22 millimeters when unfolded. For the metrically challenged, that's roughly 17 by 9 inches, which isn't exactly a huge surface area for solar energy collection. The panel is also only 18 and a half millimeters or about three quarters of an inch thick and weighs in at just over one pound. So it's pretty easy to stow away inside or outside of a backpack using the built-in mounting holes. The panel has two output ports consisting of a USB-C and a standard USB-A port, and the ports can be protected by the included attached rubber plugs when not in use, which is always a nice feature and helps the panel achieve an IP65 water resistance rating. And if for some reason the panel does stop working, Big Blue provides a 24-month warranty on its products so long as you register them on their website. You can also find the rest of the panel specs on Big Blue's website as well. And while I know not all of you will care about those specs, I know some of you will. So if you are one of those people, please feel free to pause the video now. So can this little panel pull off its solar charging claims? Let's find out. So for this test, we will be placing our solar panel here on top of our solar regeneration platform. And we will use the panel's handy dandy built-in kickstand in order to angle the panel toward the midday sun so we get the best possible result. And to get that result, we will try to recreate what will probably be this panel's most typical use case by attempting to juice up a typical size 3700 milliamp hour smartphone battery. Although if you actually want to store power for later use, you could always hook the panel up to a battery bank as well. And since it's late summer here in the Midwestern US, we should be able to draw a pretty good charge. But remember, depending on where you live and the time of year, your results could vary. A few hours later. Okay, we have results. So the first thing that probably needs to be mentioned is on a sunny late summer day in direct sunlight, the panel was consistently able to pull down a 9 watt charge. It even spiked up to 10 watts from time to time, which is an equally surprising and impressive result. Which means in these same conditions, you can expect to be able to fill up a typical smartphone battery in around an hour and a half, which is also an impressive result. Now to replicate this result, you would need to keep the panels angled directly toward the sun during the entire duration of the charge, which would require some micromanagement. It would also mean consistent direct sunlight and no cloud cover, the latter of which will obviously slow down your charging speeds considerably. But this is true of all solar charging solutions, so I think the solar power tent result is still a good one. Without managing the panels and leaving my phone outside the charge on an off and on cloudy day, I was able to fill up my phone's battery in under three and a half hours, which is actually pretty good. This also means in decent conditions, you should be able to fill up a larger battery bank over the course of a day. So if you are out hiking and you don't want to take the panels with you, you can leave them back at your campsite and charge up the bank while you are away. And then use the bank to charge your phone overnight, which is a very realistic and doable solar solution. So at the beginning of this video, we set out to answer if a small affordable solar charger can pull enough charge to be useful, and I think the answer is yes, at least this charger can. In the proper conditions, the Solar Power 10 was actually able to pull a consistent 9 watt charge, and you have to remember it wasn't that long ago that a lot of us were using these suckers, and they only pull a 5 watt charge, so 9 watts really isn't so bad. So if you're looking for a portable, lightweight solar charger for your phone or other smallish electronic device without breaking the bank, I think the Big Blue Solar Power 10 is definitely worth a look, and if you do decide to pick one up, I have left a link down in the description for your convenience. I don't get anything if you use the link, I'm just a nice guy. Yes, you are. Well, that's all the information I have for one day. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.